about weight reduction? Let's talk about weight reduction. Check this shit out. I got the scale. This is just an old, tired bathroom scale. I didn't bring the real deal here today, but this here is a bucket of rust that I pulled off the Jeep. The rust TJ. Called it that for a reason. That is almost 20 pounds of rust. Trying to get this on as far as possible. It's literally like 19 pounds of rust. Here's another way to do it. Standing on the scale myself. We're right at 200. Whether or not the scale is accurate doesn't matter. 200. I'm going to pick up the bucket. Two twenty, two nineteen. So I literally flaked, peeled, grind, ground, cut twenty pounds of rust off the Jeep Rusty J. Can you believe that crap? Just a little bit of surface rust. That's what they say. <laughs> the new merch, by the way. Ooh, in speed we trust. Look at that old school, old school racing, old school motorcycle style back. Pretty awesome. I like it. Check it out. Uh, you can go to the store, my YouTube store. Check it out. This is another one I'm sending out. Pink. The pink Speed Culture Studios comic book style. Lots of colors available. They look pretty dope. If you guys saw that last video that I showed the merch on, I changed this bottom portion. Come on, it says. Looks really sick. Check these out again, YouTube store. A lot of different cool t shirts. You may even see the new ugly Christmas sweater from Sweet Culture Studios available on the YouTube store. So if you guys want to get your hands on some ugly Christmas t shirts, ugly Christmas sweaters, I got them. I got them. Check out the store. Thank you guys. Now let's get on with this weight reduction conversation because I know a lot of people are interested in it around the Q50 because why? Why? It's a big, heavy car. That's why. I always got this fucking asshole across the street playing the damn drums. God. Stick around too, guys. We got those carbon fiber overlays to put on the deck lid of this Q50 as well. It's going to probably be in a vlog video coming up uh, this weekend. Doing a lot of filming this weekend, so stick around. Uh, but let's get back into the weight reduction stuff. And sort of in this car world for any length of time, you'll know that there's a number of things that you can do to reduce weight in your vehicle. You can go all the way to extreme and literally gut the inside of your car, leaving essentially just the driver's seat and the main controls. But most of us that are driving these Q50s use this vehicle on a daily basis. And we don't want to go all that far, but we want it to perform a little bit better at the track, be a little bit lighter, a little bit more nimble, improve our power to weight ratio, which is really important, especially considering in these VQ37s, you're only going to make 340-ish horsepower. Uh, in the VRs, you know, you're going to make 500 plus horsepower, so it's not all that critical. But then at that point, you're really maybe competing in certain situations and you want to reduce weight. So let's get into this a little bit deeper. So a couple obvious things right away. Take the crap out of your trunk. So you can take the, the trunk cover, you can take the spare tire if you have one. Most of us have run, run flats and didn't get a spare tire tire package, um, take the tire changing stuff out so, and other components, anything that might be in your trunk, pull that out. Uh, then a lot of people will go racing seats. So you can get Sparco, Corbo, uh, Bride, Brid, whatever you want to say. Uh, you know, some of the, the main ones that really can help you reduce rate weight. Uh, I got the Sparco 100 seat, which you guys saw in some of those uh, previous videos from last winter. That seat weighs maybe 50 or 55 pounds, something like that. Uh, with the bracket and the slider. Um, so that's a substantial decrease. I think the factory driver's seat weighs close to 80 pounds, something like that. So we're talking a 40 pound weight reduction, which is pretty significant. Uh, if you transfer that and do it uh, to the passenger seat as well, which is possible, uh, a little bit different challenges pop up when you're trying to eliminate the passenger seat airbag light, um, but you know, it's doable. Uh, installing racing seats in the front of your vehicle is a great way to reduce 60, 70, 80, 100 pounds potentially so um, and that's going with just a basic uh, adjustable you know reclining seat so there's seats that are much lighter available on the market if you really want to take it to that level uh, then you can talk about removing your back seats if you don't ever plan on having a passenger in there they're foam so they're not all that heavy but every ounce uh, contributes to your overall weight reduction efforts. You could potentially pull carpets out if you want to go that far. Uh, a lot of people just take the passenger seat out um, when they're at the racetrack or whatever and then put it back in when they're back to daily driving situations. So you can, you know, eliminate 
60, 70 pounds uh, while you're at the track. It's an easy thing to do. One of the most effective ways, I think, uh, to reduce weight from your vehicle is to pursue lightweight wheels. Uh, wheels fall under the unsprung weight category, so anything that is essentially below the springs, below your shocks, uh, it's doesn't the weight doesn't get absorbed by your suspension components. Reducing rotating mass is another way that helps the vehicle really improve its handling and performance capabilities, uh, but we're just talking about weight reduction here. Getting lightweight real wheels for your vehicle is a great way to eliminate or dramatically reduce unsprung weight, unsprung mass. So you can get RPF ones that are super light, I think 17, 18 pounds, something like that, it's crazy. Uh, you can pursue much higher dollar wheels that are around that same weight category. I, don't, I can't remember what TEs are, uh, but they're I think sub 20 pounds. So there's a lot of uh, potential there in reducing a, a lot of weight from your vehicle. If you're talking your factory wheels being 29 pounds, that's just the wheel. And then you go to a uh, you know, 20 pound wheel, we'll just say you eliminate nine to 10 pounds off of each corner, that's 40 pounds in weight reduction off your vehicle. And when you consider the fact that they say one pound of unsprung weight is equivalent to 10 pounds of total weight on your car, think about it in those terms. If you're reducing the overall weight of your vehicle by 40 pounds and at that ratio, one to 10, I mean, that's a substantial weight reduction, unsprung weight reduction, uh, will dramatically improve the performance of your vehicle. That is something you will feel, a 10 pound difference on each corner crazy. Now if we're talking uh, about weight reduction in the wheel area, you could get uh, lightweight rotors which go a long way. A lot of people will upgrade to this Akibono Big Brake Kit, right? Uh, and thinking they're going to improve their braking a lot and it's going to be fantastic for their vehicle. But then you buy rotors from like R1 Concepts. N no knock in it, that's what I did. They're, but those are really heavy. Um, the non-sport brakes are much lighter um, if you just stick with OEM product. So if you even go from your non-sport brakes, uh, you get the big brakes and then you get the factory big brake rotors. Um, I think there's something like a 10 pound difference per rotor. I want to say, I want to say almost 10 pounds if I remember correctly. That's, that's substantial. So you may be upgrading to these big brakes thinking you're doing your car a lot of justice, but you're really not because you're adding 40 pounds of overall weight. So got to think about that. Uh, really consider going with lightweight rotors. It makes a big difference, especially if you're going lightweight wheels. Why, why, why cut back on the progress you've made by adding these larger, heavier rotors? So something to think about there. Just little things to think about too, like eliminating unnecessary pieces, uh, under shrouds, um, uh, engine covers, plastic engine covers, uh, unnecessary bits of hardware, I suppose. Uh, people will go to the point where they're getting aluminum lug nuts, which maybe don't last all that long, but they're light for the time that they're on their car. Uh, so just little ways to approach things. Uh, another uh, thing that we run into a lot, obviously, is people adding parts to their car for aesthetic reasons, right? Splitters, side splitters, uh, chin spoilers or front splitters, uh, rear diffusers that were on the car. Even if they're carbon fiber, every ounce counts, right? So you put a one or two pound carbon fiber diffuser on the rear end of the car or a three piece splitter on the front, you don't think you're adding that much, but it adds up, especially considering the fact that you're putting a splitter on, that's a form of drag. Uh, it's air friction, so you could potentially be slowing your car down. Same with a large duckbill spoiler. People will notice a difference in their zero to 60 time by adding a large spoiler. It may help the car uh, maintain or retain a little bit of control and drivability at high speeds and corners, but in a straight line, you may actually be experiencing a little bit of drag and therefore a reduction in your zero to 60 time or your acceleration overall. So. There's a lot to think about when we're talking about taking components off of the car, adding components to the car, uh, trying to reduce weight in various in various ways. So uh, a lot of that is uh, uh, a lot of that has to be taken into account if you pursue this sort of um, uh, this sort of modification for your vehicle. Another thing is lightweight suspension components. Um, you know, billet can, billet pieces that you can add, uh, control arms, adjustable control arms, end links, sway bars. Uh, all of that stuff has a weight to it and a weight difference compared to your factory components. So make sure you're doing your research. If you're wanting to improve performance, consider the weight potential that you might be adding to the vehicle as well, uh, because all that goes into that calculation and goes into the overall performance of your car.
like I said, with the big brakes, you think you're doing something to improve the overall handling capabilities or the braking capabilities of your vehicle. But if you're adding 40 pounds, are you really going to notice that difference? You may uh, notice how your car feels a little bit different on the road because it's now a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier in the corners. Uh, you may have seen, again, a reduction in your zero to 60 time because now you have 40 pounds of rotating mass attached to your wheels. So Two-piece lightweight rotors and lightweight wheels were really getting into some of the expensive pieces, the expensive approach to weight reduction. Now you can talk about carbon fiber hoods, carbon fiber fenders, carbon fiber door cards, carbon fiber deck lids, um, carbon fiber uh, moonroof eliminators or moonroof deletes. Uh, we have those available for uh, the BMW guys. I'm not sure if there's a carbon fiber moonroof delete for the Q50, uh, but there may be. There may be coming up now that people are really pushing some big numbers and, and using these cars to race. Uh, we might be seeing that if they're not already available. So those things are expensive. I mean, you know, a carbon fiber, a set of carbon fiber fenders is going to cost you a thousand dollars or more for the set. Maybe a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for a decent hood. Uh, same for a deck lid. So. You know, you have to really balance this too. How much are you willing to spend to eliminate some of this weight? Now, uh, we didn't talk about exhaust. That's a great way to eliminate weight. The factory exhaust setup is extremely heavy. Those big suitcase mufflers in the rear of the vehicle, a lot of weight. Catalytic converters, very, very heavy. Resonators are pretty heavy. Uh, you know, the steel exhaust that system, the steel exhaust material that they use is heavy. So you can go to titanium, you can go to single exit, Speed Culture Studio single exit exhaust sounds sick by the way, check out my Instagram stories. Oh my God, that thing sounds freaking amazing. Just a quick recap of potential weight reduction strategies, rust removal, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, unnecessary components, so eliminate all the crap out of your truck, uh, engine shields, engine shrouds, um, little pieces here and there that you don't need, uh, like diffusers, carpet, passenger seat during race day. Uh, sound deadening material can be eliminated. Uh, then we talk about uh, rotating mass, eliminating rotating mass with uh, much lighter weight wheels. Ford Star F14s, for example, are like 22 pounds for 19s. That's a significant weight reduction compared to the factory wheels, which are about 29 pounds or so. Uh, you can go lightweight, you know, two piece rotors. Um, you can go lighter weight suspension components and sway bars. Uh, you can go titanium exhaust setups. You can go uh, single exit exhaust systems. You can go the real expensive route and start replacing uh, body panels like carbon fiber fenders, carbon fiber uh, deck lid and hoods, uh, carbon fiber everywhere, right? Carbon fiber door cards, car carbon fiber moonroof deletes. There's a lot of potential for weight reduction when it comes to panels, although you're going to be spending the money. The other thing, again, is to not add a bunch of different pieces to your car that weren't maybe necessarily there in the first place or that you might not actually need. Front splitters, side splitters, uh, you know, high kick duckbill spoilers. It's it's aesthetic arrow, but it's not necessarily functional arrow. So think about those things. There's a lot of ways to reduce weight in your vehicles without spending a lot of Run a half a tank of gas. Gasoline weighs a bunch. It's like, what is it, like eight or 10 pounds a gallon? If you think about that, you leave 10 gallons of fuel out of your car, that's like 80 to 100 pounds, pretty significant weight reduction there. Uh, don't take passengers, take your seats out, you know, your, your, your passenger seat, your rear seat, uh, replace them with uh, racing seats like the uh, Sparkle 100, for example. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any additional comments in the comment section below how some of the strategies you, you have used to eliminate weight. I touched on a bunch of them, but I'm sure there are more that I haven't thought of. There are some real experienced uh, racers out there that have, you know, run the gamut as far as pulling things out of their vehicles to make them as light as humanly possible. So I'm interested to hear your stories. I'm interested, in, interested for you to share your feedback and guide us all in our weight reduction journey. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. More things coming for the Q50, more things coming for the channel. I appreciate you guys very much. Holidays are coming, so holiday giveaway, uh, t-shirts available. Merch is pretty sweet, check them out. Thank you guys again for the continued support. I appreciate you very, very much. We'll see you in the next one.